Hey everybody, so um, it's been a while since I've done a vlog and I decided I want to do one because I've been really bad at doing blog blogs in general. <laughs> I really apologize. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering what I've been up to. So I figured I would try a vlog and see if this works better. You all know I have the video background, so this is I'm a whole lot more comfortable talking with you guys rather than trying to write everything out. So if everything goes well, technically, like uploading this and everything, I'm hoping to do a vlog once a month to just keep you guys updated on where I'm at and kind of what I'm doing. I'm at Adventures and Missions and everything. So hopefully this makes it online. If not, I'm talking to myself and that's just a little awkward. But anyway, moving forward, um, I actually have notes of everything I kind of want to tell you guys about. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do this once a month. Oh. I would love to just keep you guys updated and do this as a fun little creative thing for me. Um, as the vlog title, things are changing. So I'm really excited to kind of tell you guys a little bit more about my job and kind of what I do and how that's changing. So when I first started at Adventures, um, I was I was technically a sales representative on um, and so what that meant is I would help people who are interested in any of our trips through Adventures and Missions. So if they were interested in our um, short-term trips, which are like seven to nine days long all over the place, we have domestic and international trips, they would talk to me um, about starting an application. Same with our passport programs, which is for college-age age college age people. Um, there's also Gap Year, which is also for college age. It's a nine-month-long program. Um, a little bit like the race, they do three countries in nine months, so they stay in each country for three months. And then there's the world race, which is what I did, which you guys all have heard so much about. Anyway, and that is the 11 and 11. Um, so before I was helping everybody who was interested in any, any of those trips get through the whole application process and answer any questions that they have or any general inquiries just about it, adventures and missions in general, world race, passport, they would come to me, which was great. And um, yeah, it was been a great nine months doing that. and. I love my coworkers. It was great. I um, still love them. Still really great. But now I'm technically called a mobilizer. And so what that means is instead of t talking to all the people who are interested in all of our trips, I get to just talk to a smaller group of people who are interested specifically in the world race and our short term um, missions trips. And I will have a route. So how I went on route Route one in July of 2013, 14, thir 13. Uh, um, and so instead of having multiple people talk to somebody, it's only have one person. So I will be in charge of a August route this coming year. So as people apply for that specific trip, they'll be talking to me do the entire sales, pro sales process, which is any questions they have, anything like that. But also, once they get accepted, I will also be their point person to help them prepare for the race, get everything ready for the race, and actually leave. So I will be helping with their training camp, which is about two months before you leave for the race. You come down over across to <laughs> Gainesville, Georgia, and you you hang out at the offices. We have training, worship, um, just all that fun stuff. Everyone to get to, like squads to get to know each other, all of that. And so I will be helping for those 10 days and then also helping them prep for launch. Um, so that group will leave in August. I'll also be helping with people who are already preparing for this coming January route. Um, so their training camp is in about two weeks. So I will be doing my first training camp as adventure staff in two weeks. It's going to be crazy. I'm probably going to do a vlog for that because I'm probably going to be like, just not very sleep deprived and probably quite funny. So I figured you guys probably want to see that. And just to give you guys kind of a view of what training camp looks like. So overall, um, I'm really excited for my new position for the fact that I get to actually grow relationships more and just be able to talk with people. Like I already have 13 people who are have gone through the application process and have been accepted to the route that I'm in charge of in August. So that means for the next 11 months, I'm going to be able to talk with them, walk with them through the whole process, but also like, I don't prep them, prep them for the race, like talk to them about their passions, all of that. So I'm really excited for the relationships I'll be able to grow that way. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my new, new position. It's going to be great. I'm really, really excited for it. 
We're in the middle of the transition. So I'm still have some sales things I'm doing and I'm picking up my new, my new tasks or things like that. So right now it's a little crazy office. It's a little busy, but it's really good. Um, I'm really excited. So that's kind of what things are changing. Um, also other things that are changing, it is tomorrow starts the new fiscal year. Yeah. Which means I get to fundraise. It's going to be so great. So, um, I kind of have a new fundraising idea thing. Um, you probably, you might've already seen it on Facebook with other people in the adventures office, but, um, check that out. I will start posting pictures on that and kind of start fundraising again for this ne next fiscal year. Um, so I'm gonna start that tomorrow. So just check my Facebook, whatever. Um, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's a little bit more creative than just whatever, like sending out score letters. So I'm a little excited for it. Um, so check that out. Um, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? That's pretty much all I got. Um, like I said, I would love to do these vlogs once a month or or more. Um, but also, like, if there's anything you guys want to know, if there's any, I don't know, any questions you have about my job or just about life down here or over or across, wherever you guys are located in Georgia, I would love to answer those. Um, if you have any funny ideas for a vlog, I'm totally game for that. Um, yeah, I would love to just, I guess, just make more of these because I find them to be fun and just simple. So let me know if you have questions or if you have any ideas of blogs I, I could do. I would love, I would love your input. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have. And I hope this makes this online because it'd be super great. Um, yeah. And I guess post any comments, questions you have, whatever. I would love to talk with you more about my life here in Georgia. Um, also, this is my apartment. It's, it's kind of, uh, not much of it there but anyway next time I'm hoping to do a vlog from my desk so you can kind of see my workspace and kind of see where I work so yeah okay well I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you later okay bye